Hey guys, I'm gonna be doing a one year review on this beauty Ram 22 Ram Limited Night Edition. Uh, I guess we'll start off at the uh, engine part. Let's go to the engine. Got the hood open. So, the engine, 5.7 liter e torque. Uh, I did put a uh, cold air intake from S&B. Uh, engine issues, not nothing at all. Does not burn a drop of oil. Uh, had uh, two oil changes, not a drop burnt on this thing. Uh, I've had three Hemi's already. I had a 19 uh, Limited, a 20 Limited, and this is my 22 Limited. None of them burnt oil, so I'm very happy. The only issue with these trucks is the manifolds are cheap. They break, but uh, we'll get to that later. I was thinking uh, maybe getting some short uh, JBA headers on there to solve that problem. But we'll see when it gets there. But uh, it might not even break, you never know. But uh, this one's got 20,000 uh, kilometers, which is around 16,000, 17,000 miles now after a year. So the engine is perfect, the transmission is buttery smooth, no issues with that. So. There we go. Perfect. After one year. Now, since January 31st, I bought it. Uh, it has got modded the week after. I put um, my uh, boiler exhaust on it from my last truck and the cold air intake. So that was installed at the dealer a week later after I picked it up. Uh, 300 kilometers after... I bought it. I took off the OEM tires, which I didn't like, so I bought some uh, Toyo AT3s. I was going to buy some um, Mickey Thompson, uh, whatever they are, but the uh, warranty in Canada is a bit different. So I went with the Toyo AT3s. These tires, through the snow, we had uh, lots of snow this year. They did very well. I'm very happy with them. And the main reason I bought them was to do with I didn't have to take them off, didn't have to buy snow tires, because these are... Uh, snow peaks on them and the sidewall I've hit <laughs> a few curves already and not one rash on these rims not one scratch on them that's probably the main reason why I bought these tires just to do with protection of my 22 inch rims because the last truck I had didn't have the thick sidewall and I gouged the, uh, the rims quite a bit okay those are the tires I'm very happy with these tires um, the next thing, uh, right after I bought the truck, I got it ceramic coated um, through a, um, a person that lives around the area. Anyways, uh, we did the full paint correction, as you know from previous uh, videos, that the dealership washed his truck and scratched the shit out of it. All the way down, everywhere was scratched. And so I brought it in to get it detailed. They paid for some of it, the dealer, but I got it professionally done uh, through any guys around the Vancouver area that want to get their ceramic coated, uh, truck coated. Uh, the name of the uh, company or the guy's name is Swiss Pro Detailing. He does a tremendous job and I really liked his work. I didn't go, I got my 2020 uh, ceramic coated, but I didn't go back to that guy, so I didn't, wasn't happy with his work, so I'm really happy with how this turned out a year later. As you can see, the shine is still there. Everything is just perfect. It, uh, the water still beads off it good. It's easier to clean, so I'm happy with uh, Swiss, Pro, Chris, Swiss Pro Detailing is his name. Okay, so next. The paint has held up, like I said. There's nothing wrong with the paint. Not chipping, so that's good. Um, Multi-function tailgate. Perfect. No problems with that. Nothing wrong with that, so that's good. Okay, let's turn that back. Yeah, there's not much on the outside that... Uh, I could say it's held up really good with the uh, coating on it. It's got a few chips up on maybe one or two chips after a year. Let's check the front bumper here. Yeah, I got one scratch right there. And one here. After one year. Like I don't bring this down rocky roads and all that. 
Uh, just give me a sec here, Matt. You just stay there. I just want to see my cold air intake and to see the filter, how it's done. As you guys know, I've had this filter or this whole setup in my 20. The filter is still basically, I haven't cleaned it yet or uh, replaced it because it's doing so good. So after what, two years of that now, year and a half of uh, owning that, it's been good. Here we go. Now, I'm gonna go on the, uh, the, the mods. This truck has a few mods on it. It's got a Borla uh, like cat back exhaust and attack one. It's got that cold air intake. It's got a, let's go inside here. Go on the other side there, Matthew, and open the door. I got my son in that phone. <laughs> I've got a, just stay there Matthew, outside the door. I've got a um, pedal commander right here that I keep right there. Now I'm going to show you the inside here. It's basically brand new. I did do a bit of cleaning yesterday, but everything's held up. The materials are just perfect. The steering wheel is perfect. And this is after a year in ownership of the truck. Everything is not broken, no faded. You know, Ram did a great job on this interior. There's, uh, I don't think there's a truck out there, even with new GMs or interior, nothing beats this uh, Ram Limited. In the 22, they blacked this out, they blacked that out, they blacked more stuff out on the, on the night edition. These are blacked out, the bezels. Everything is blacked out now, even these. It's just beautiful. Uh, I'm really happy with the interior. I think it's the best one, hands down, interior. Let's go to the back here. Back seats, biggest room out of any truck in the business, Ram. These seats recline like that. I'll just show them, Matthew, these, and that one reclines. No other truck can do that. This truck has got cooled seats as well. I don't think any other truck has got that. So Ram, in my opinion, has the best interior, hands down. GM's got a nice interior, but it doesn't beat this. I went to look at the uh, GMC Ultimate uh, Denali, whatever it is. Me and my son, what was it, two months ago, Matthew? Yeah, about two months ago. And I sat in it and I go, no, not for me. I'm not interested in that. And it had only a single uh, sunroof, didn't have automatic pedals, a dinky little rear view camera. I go, no, I'm not going to be even, I just wanted to look at it. Uh, what else in here? I bought a Thinkware um, camera, uh, dash cam up, to, up front by the window. Right here. That's my Thinkware dash cam. I got one up front. I got one in the back there. I don't know what, uh, that this is. It's perfect to think we're, and I had never had to use it. Nobody's hit the truck or no accidents. So it's always filmings for me anyway, so that's good. But uh, anyways, guys, close this, close it. Now, the bad stuff on here, it's always, it's mostly good. But the only thing wrong with this truck was a wire come off. Uh, off the condenser for the air conditioning, it fell off. And as you know, I was pissed off in the summer. I made a video of that. So I had to go to the Ram dealer and uh, get them to look at it. It was basically a wire that they had to put on, so nothing major. So basically a year with this truck has been perfect. Ram, you are the king of trucks, man. This truck is most reliable truck around of you know I've driven driven forwards and they junk compared to this in my opinion and, and I've owned a lot of Fords. So loving this uh, limited it, the stance on it it's just beautiful it rides nothing beats a ride on a on a Ram limited air air uh, suspension truck. Nobody comes close. 
And I had one recall to do with the um, uh, the e port they updated uh, through a computer. And that's it. So basically, no uh, codes come up on the dash in one year. It's been flawless, basically, this truck. And I'm very happy with it. I wouldn't trade it in for nothing. My plans on the truck, as you know, I don't do too many videos anymore because the truck has been flawless. There hasn't been any complaints. As you know, if something comes up, I will document it and nothing has come up. It's been absolutely a dream to drive this truck. And I'm very happy with it. Are you happy with it, Matthew? Just say oh, yes. Oh yeah. Okay, my son's happy. He loves the truck too. The stereo in it, he loves. It's got the 19 speaker Harman Kardon in it. This truck is fully loaded, fully loaded. The only thing it doesn't have is the um, <coughs> trailer backup uh, assist. Uh, this truck is very rare. I've never seen a, um, a limited in this color yet in, in my area. Hard to find, you'll have to see every other color, but Maximus Steel is very hard. This truck was shipped from uh, Alberta, basically. I bought it. The dealer that I went to swapped one of their trucks in for this one, and I wanted this one. So. Anyways, I am ecstatic with this truck. All it's brought is joy for the first year. Let's, uh, let's keep her going, guys. This truck is beautiful. And remember, Ram 1500, king of trucks. Bye.